In this video, we will talk about a relatively recent discovery made in Lake Vostok, located in Antarctica. It is the deepest lake in the world. In it, Russian researchers found shocking things, and some people speculate that it may even be about aliens. Whether you believe in aliens or not, this is one fascinating story you wouldn't want to miss. If you like what we do, you can support us by sharing the video with friends and subscribing to the channel. The Soviet Union has long been fascinated by UFO sightings and the study of extraterrestrial life theories. In line with this trend, the Soviet government began exploring Lake Vostok, the largest subglacial lake on Earth and the sixth largest freshwater lake on the planet. Researchers are making some fascinating discoveries about Lake Vostok in Antarctica. Do these theories include evidence for the existence of aliens? A team of scientists from Russia and New Zealand spent 20 days probing the lake in Antarctica as part of a project funded by the US, Norway, and New Zealand. The team's goal is to explore one of the most isolated places on Earth to learn more about its unique ecosystem. There were many fears that drilling in Lake Vostok would disturb its delicate balance, but these concerns did not stop scientists from continuing their research goals. What are conditions like in Lake Vostok? Lake Vostok is located under four kilometers of ice. The water in this subglacial lake has been under frozen ice for millions of years. It is located at the South Pole in Antarctica and is about 250 kilometers long and 50 kilometers wide. The southern part of the lake has deeper waters with an average depth of about 800 to 1,050 meters. The northern part is shallower with depths of about 300 to 450 meters and with a hilly relief at the bottom. The water in the lake has a temperature of about negative 3 degrees Celsius the place is extremely cold and there is not much sunlight. This means that the lake is covered with ice all year long. How it all begins. The first scientific publication about the lake was made by academician Andrei Petrovich Kapitska in 1994 at a conference of the Scientific Committee for Antarctic Research, SCAR, in Rome. The following is a scientific publication from 1995 in the journal Nature by an international team of scientists. There is talk and proposals for drilling to begin paleoclimatic research, i.e., studies of the Earth's ancient climate. Through complex seismic and radar studies, scientists have created a map of the bottom of the subglacial lake. The details are described in the Proceedings of the Academies of Sciences No. 5, Volume 433, from 2010. The techniques were specifically developed and involved the detonation of detonating cords capable of echolocation even through the 100-meter snow cover above the lake's ice cover. A detailed map was drawn up, and that too through direct observations. Interest in the discovery has been expressed by scientists from around the world, including NASA. NASA's interest is related to the proximity of conditions in the lake to those of Jupiter's moon Europa. After all, the lake can turn out to be full of surprises. Fears have been expressed that dangerous microorganisms might appear from its bottom, which developed for 500,000 years under the four-kilometer ice. In 1998, when only 130 meters remained of the relict waters of the lake, drilling was stopped. The international community is asking scientists not to penetrate the aquifer until special technology is developed to minimize the possibility of contamination. At a meeting of the SCAR, Scientific Council for Antarctic Research, it was decided to develop an environmentally friendly way of penetration. The new technology is a real breakthrough in the field of deep drilling. A biologically sterile lavage fluid and safe transport methods are established. To avoid contamination, specialists use a special compound to lubricate and maintain hydrostatic pressure in the well, which does not dissolve in water and can later be isolated. In 2003, the international community agreed with the measures taken, and after an eight-year hiatus, drilling resumed. July 2012, the breakthrough in the drilling process. After 30 years of drilling, the Russian engineering team reached the mysterious lake and took samples of its waters. The comments in the world's scientific circles are that the penetration into the pristine Lake Vostok, four kilometers under the ice, in terms of its importance, is equal to the stepping of a man on the moon. The drilling process was expected to take up to nine months, but the team managed it in just 20 days. A new drilling technique is being used in Lake Vostok. 
the team did not use the typical process method that other researchers have used in the past. In the usual method, researchers sink a borehole into a body of water to collect samples from the bottom of the lake. Instead, here the team used a liquid freezing technique to collect samples from the lake. Once they have made a hole in the ice large enough for the equipment to pass through, the process of collecting samples begins. Lake Vostok is full of strange organisms and chemical byproducts. The results of the analysis of the samples taken were reported at the ENA 2012 Astrobiology Conference in Stockholm. Only 10 bacteria per milliliter were found, and genetic analysis showed that three of them got there as a result of probing. It is necessary to obtain complete specimens. This necessitated a second attempt. The team used the same borehole to a depth of 3,400 meters, then drilled a spur. This time, the engineers were extremely careful and were sure that the samples contained only water from the lake. Twice the probe broke due to changes in the macrostructure of the ice. In 2015, they reached the surface of the lake at a depth of 3,760 meters and managed to take two samples. After specialized drilling rigs pulled up the smooth, milky white chunks called ice cores, teams collected them in protective tubes, archived and transported them to laboratories of the St. Petersburg Institute of Nuclear Physics and many other laboratories around the world to perform gas, isotropic, and biological analyses in search of evidence of Earth's past thousands of years ago. Researchers discovered organisms at the bottom of the lake that are unlike anything found before. Organic molecules and mineral deposits have also been found, which also do not match anything previously found on Earth. These results suggest that Lake Vostok is a unique ecosystem. The researchers found no evidence that the lake was ever exposed to the outside world. There is no indication that the lake ever thawed completely. No indication has been found that any life form was able to leave the lake and colonize the rest of the planet. Researchers proved that the lake was isolated for millions of years. The Russians are discovering some shocking things about Lake Vostok. The researchers found an unusual amount of hydrogen and carbon in the water sample they took from the bottom of the lake. This suggests that organisms living in Lake Vostok may be metabolizing carbon and hydrogen at much faster rates than organisms elsewhere on the planet. This is a very unusual discovery and raises many questions about the ecosystem. A high concentration of methane was also found in the lake. This methane is thought to be produced by a type of bacteria called methanogens. This is another unusual discovery for this particular body of water. The existence of life in the extreme conditions in the waters of Vostok can prove the possibility of existence in life on planets with similar ones. Therefore, the success of the Russian project is of particular interest to astrobiologists who study the origin of life and its possible spread throughout the universe. Conditions in the mysterious lake closely resemble those of Jupiter's ice-covered moon Europa. The question of aliens. During the drilling, scientists collected samples from the bottom of the lake that included organic matter. This is the reason why the team appeared on the front pages of the newspapers. The researchers found an unusual amount of silicon, which is often associated with the presence of extraterrestrial life. However, scientists don't have a specific explanation for what the silicon is doing there. The discovery of organic matter is not the most surprising part of the project. Even more interesting is the fact that the organic samples were fossilized. This means the matter has been there for a very long time. Apparently, an ecosystem existed in the lake without a source of oxygen. It is hard to imagine how such an ecosystem could exist without a significant source of energy. It is also curious what could have caused organic matter to fossilize so quickly. On the other hand, the researchers did not find any evidence of extraterrestrial life in Lake Vostok. But they did find something no less interesting. There is a possibility that silicon is not associated with organisms from Earth. It is possible that it was deposited in the lake a long time ago. This suggests that Lake Vostok may have been contaminated with organisms from space long before humans discovered it. Could aliens have been discovered? Still, for lovers of this theory, let's ask the question once more. Researchers have proposed several different explanations for the organic matter found at the bottom of Lake Vostok. One of the most popular theories is that it was left by microbes that lived in the lake millions of years ago when there was no oxygen in it. 
Other scientists believe that the organic matter came from organisms that lived there before it was covered by an ice sheet. There is a natural theory that the samples of organic matter were left behind by extraterrestrial visitors. Some people think that aliens may have visited the lake millions of years ago, which would explain why samples of this matter are fossilized. In fact, the truth is that officially, researchers haven't even looked for signs of extraterrestrial life. They were simply exploring one of the most isolated ecosystems on Earth, and during the exploration, they discovered many strange things. While these findings do not prove the existence of aliens, they could prove even more exciting if life is discovered in Lake Vostok. Share your comment on this topic. Don't forget to support us by sharing this video and subscribing to the channel.